If you've got a Super 73 bike and you want to modify it, maybe add a basket to it, well, today I've got something for you from Irv Labs. It's called the Urban Basket, and I think you're going to dig it. Welcome to the Vapor Trail channel. I'm Tony. So yeah, I love my Super 73 ZX. My wife has the Z1. This particular basket will not work for that. And they have other baskets for the R series, but Irv Labs, small company, does a great job, man. I tell you what, I saw this and first of all, on a Super 73, when it's installed, it kind of looks, it fills in that hole. It kind of looks like there's, like, like if there was a motor on it, you know, because it, it kind of looks like a motorcycle. It has a bunch of mole slots in it and it has a couple of cool little features to help you keep the stuff in the basket with Without banging into your legs or hitting the pedal or something like that. The one that I've got is actually coated with Linex and man I tell you what it's it's nice. Of course the Linex is going to keep it from getting scratched up and all of that. Best part about it it is probably one of the easiest mods you can do to your Super 73 ZX in this case. The install on this is like minutes. I recorded the up close stuff here in the install previously and I'm going to go ahead and show that to you now. So here's the box Urban Basket ZX from Irv Labs. It's a pretty simple box and from what I saw on the website for installation it looks pretty simple i have watched the video once and i'm going to leave it at that see if i can do oh look they actually have all the steps right here on the box so that's very nice so let's go ahead and get her all out of here oh man that is nice so that's the basket right there nicely lined it's going to be it's yeah you know, it's really going to hold up so that is good okay so they give you one of these bungee type things that you can use with the basket from what I understand. So you get a little bag like this, a little cloth bag. From what I understand, this is a toolless installation. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna move all this aside. I'm gonna flip the box over here so I can look at the instructions. Always good to do that, right? Well, funny story, I had just installed this thing a few minutes ago and then realized that my camera wasn't on the right angle, so I'm redoing it. Basically, all you're gonna do is put these little silicone spacers in here, and these spacers are gonna keep this away from the actual frame, so no scratching and all that kind of stuff, and it actually acts as a shock absorber. Now, these are on here, they stayed on there after I screwed this thing all together, so that's gonna make it a little bit easier for me, but basically, you're supposed to put these two on, then you put the basket in here, like so, line all that up, and then after you put in two of these, you want to make sure that you put your washer on there so that the cone side of it is up against the actual thumb part of it. We'll just go like that. This shows you how fast you can actually install this thing, or uninstall it and reinstall it if you had to. You don't want to tighten them all the way down because you want to be able to line everything up. Then after you get this on, then you slide those little spacers that are on this part of it in between this and the frame or, you know, the mounting bracket. It's already on the bike. It's a little bit more tricky to do that. I used an Allen wrench to just kind of push them around and get them so that they're lined up with the holes. But once you get all that in there, we're just going to do this. I mean, that's as easy as it is right there. And they're all thumb screws, so... You don't want to tighten them all the way down until you get all four of them in place. But with those silicone lined washers and all that, it is, uh, it's on there nice and snug and I don't think you have to worry about it coming off, but you might want to check it every once in a while. So you'll notice that this side is higher than this side and it's got a little bit of a camber to it or chamfer or a little tilt to it. You know what I'm saying? And you can see right here, completely clears with the pedals. But the reason why this is higher is because you might have something to put in your basket. Let me see if, if I can find something. Well, I'll just use this cutting board as an example. So if it was low, like on the other side here, you know, it's, it's sticking out. It's not being pushed back in, might get hit by your pedal or something like that, or your leg. I mean, you know, it's just sticking out. If you put it in like this, then that pushes it back in towards the center and everything is nice and balanced. What I'm getting at is that Irv Labs have put some real thought into this so it's not just a big open basket. Plus you've got all these mole openings and stuff so you could use this strap that they did send with it and you could use whatever you want on this thing to secure all of your stuff. Something with Velcro straps would work really well. And you can still put a water bottle holder inside of here and it's actually got a little thing on the back of it on this side here just in case you wanted to put one on the back side of that. That slit down there at the bottom 
bottom of it will allow any kind of water or whatever might get inside the basket to escape. And then looking at it from this side, yeah, this side is lower and less of those little mole things on there. So that's pretty cool, man. That looks really good on that bike. So you can actually hold quite a bit in here. I mean, you're not gonna be able to do your whole shopping trip, but they've got milk in here, some cereal and some chips. I can fit some stuff underneath there. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. And then on this side over here, see the taller angle of it helps to keep that box from tilting over and making it so that it's gonna hit your legs or the pedals. So it's pretty cool, man, I dig it. Just as a bonus idea, one of the things that I do have over, I already had this, is one of these Yeti things that goes on the, I guess it clips onto a, you know, straps onto a cooler with those. And it's really secure. I mean, it's got Velcro here and then it's also got magnetic seal on this thing. So it's nice and secure and dry. So if you wanted to have a dry bag, you can actually just put it right inside the basket or you can use the straps and put it through the mole, you know, slots on there and strap it in there so it won't come out. So pretty cool idea. So yeah, this is a cool little basket. You know, you can still fit your bottle holder in the front there. There is still room to do that. At least most of them. I don't have one and I don't know that I'll put one in there. If I can just stick the bottle in there and strap it in there. It is super helpful though, because there's times where I've been like, ah, oh, geez, I, I want to bring this along with me. You know, maybe some camera gear or something like that. Don't feel like wearing a backpack today. Where will I put it? Or in the case of going grocery shopping, we had a winter storm warning last week and I was like, hey, let me just go ahead and I'm gonna take this down to the store. I'll we needed was some milk and cereal and chips so I went ahead and took the bike down there and it was perfect for that. It was cold as hell but it was perfect for that. Anyways yeah if you're looking for an easy modification to your bike you don't want to put a basket on the front or off the back this fits perfectly in there and it with all those mole straps and everything in there you're probably never going to run out of room to put stuff in there. Well I mean spatially you will run out of room inside but you know what I mean there's always going to be some place to strap something onto that basket. I'm going to put a link down in the description for you so you can check it out yourself. Irv Labs super easy to work with they sent this thing in record time man it, you know, all the way from California I think is where it came from as fast as shipping can be from there but yeah it was only a couple of days. So there you go an easy way to modify your Super 73 ZX make it look cooler and actually make it more functional. That's pretty cool. Hey, I want to thank you so much for your support here on the channel. Likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, always very important to my channel. So if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, there's a red subscribe button down there. If you click that and the notification bell, you'll get notifications when I upload new videos. I've got a lot of stuff planned for the channel in the e-mobility world. I've actually got another e-skate coming from Posway. They have a new 2022 version of the Posway T2. Yeah, well, it looks pretty darn cool. I've also got more stuff to show you with the Super 73, so I really appreciate your support here in the channel. And that's going to do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Vapor Trail channel.